Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks again for joining me at MediterraneanTutorials.org. All right, in this particular tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to place a trade. So we'll go through all the steps, what to, what to press, in terms of executing a trade, what it means, and we'll go through various aspects to make sure everybody's clear. So when you hit that new order button, you know exactly what's going on, and you're ready to proceed with confidence. All right. So let me just zoom in here, take a look at a particular trade. Okay, so we have the chart set up here. We notice a huge drop. And the idea here is, what do we want to do at this point? So what do I think is going to happen? Regardless of whether your studies tell you that it's going to go up or down, um, either way, that's fine. How to actually execute the order now? Few ways of doing that. So. The simplest way to do it is click on this new order button right here. Click on that, the order entry box comes up and actually shows you the bid as well as the ask. So we put in, take a look at our, well first thing we wanna do is make sure the symbol is the one that you actually wanna trade. All right, you want to, if it's not, just click down and choose the appropriate cross uh, or security or instrument that you that you want to trade. So we'll leave it at that. The volume, make sure you review that as well too. Last thing you want to do is putting in uh, lot sizes or uh, that are too large for your account balance. So just keep just keep that in mind. Stop loss, you can put in a stop loss right away in terms of uh, the number of pips that you're willing to lose if the trade goes against you. Take profit is the complete opposite. At what point do you want to close a trade at a profit. Comment, great idea to put some comments in here. In case you are trading multiple strategies or you just want to quickly capture synopsis of what you're doing, put in a little note. Type, here you can choose either pending order or instant execution. If you choose instant execution, that order will go right through to the servers and your trade will be placed right away. Again, assuming there's no requotes. And what a requote is, the price that the server or sorry the broker is offering you right now is no longer available and they'll give you an option to execute the trade at a new price point. This happens quite a bit during high volatile situations such as the non-farm payroll that happens on the first Friday of each month uh, at around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. During that time you may not be able to get a trade in because so many are coming in and the circumstances are changing so quickly. So what I'm gonna show you here is we're gonna actually do an instant uh, execution. So let's type in a quick comment, test case one, stop loss, typically a good idea to put a stop loss. I am going to put a stop loss at this last swing low here. So 44.777. And I typically like to put mine about 10 to 15 pips below. So we'll actually put it at, there we go. Profit, you know, people talk about different profit ratios, you want at least a one to one. I put it at, I, I take a quick look at the charts to see where it makes the most sense. So for myself, looking at the charts right now, this seems like a, this could be a area of resistance and I, what I did there is I just again I uh, clicked on that little mouse button to come up to bring up the um, the crosshairs just so it's visually easy and I'm looking at it okay let's say I anticipate it's gonna come up to this particular area of um, of resistance so I'll put my profit at about 10 pips below that point so approximately here and I look at the right hand side of my screen and the price is highlighted in black, 1.45631. I'll put it at 45.50. Here we go. And I'm gonna to choose to buy because I think the price is gonna go up. Here we go. Order execution. It told me that it went through and it told me the stop loss, the take profit, and that the fact the trade was successful. You can print these out if you want that's fine. I'm going to hit OK. And now we are in play. 
So you can see here, this is where my order ex was executed at this as a green line here. My take profit is at the line just above. And right now you may be thinking, where did the, where's my stop loss line? It's down here below the charts. You can't really see it. So one way of doing it, if I place my cursor on the vertical scale, then I hold down the left button and I drag it down, it'll shrink the whole chart. There we go. And that's where you can see where I placed my stop loss, right there. So now it's just easier to, see, to visually see what's going on. To restore the chart back to its original size, I place my, my mouse back in the vertical scale and I just double click and here we go. So now let me walk through the, the trade screen, so the terminal. So down here, down this section, we see what's going on with the trade. So first thing, it has my order number right there, the time that it was executed, 725, the type, I bought one lot of Euro USD at this price with a stop loss here and a take profit here, and this is the current price. Commission, some brokers charge a commission, uh, Alpari doesn't, most of them that I know don't. So we have uh, $0 here, swap, Swap is the the amount that you be charged for holding a currency or uh, holding a trade. Sorry, uh, longer than one day. In some instances, based on interest rates, you'll either make some money or it'll cost you a little bit of money. Profit, and here's what it currently looks like right now. We're actually about ten dollars uh, in the hole as the trade is currently progressing. Now you can change that. Right now this is showing the base currency. If I right click here in profit, I can go up, take a look at profit, I can choose as points, as term currency, or as well as deposit currency. So let's say I wanted to, just, I like tracking pips. Click on pips, and it's showing me right now that I'm four pips. Let me make sure, profit, yep, as points. Four pips down which happens to equate one pip is one dollar in this particular case. Okay. One thing that I wanted to mention, in an earlier video I showed you the difference between balance, equity, as well as margin, as well as, and free margin. So my balance is $5,000. My equity, see how that, I don't have any closed trade, so my balance remains steady. My equity is fluctuating as the trade is in progress. So if I closed out the account right now, my equity would be $5,005 at this particular point in time. Margin, I'm using up $290 worth of my equity to be able to carry this trade. So that means it's not as if the money is actually gone, it's just being held on reserve so I, can, so I can actually execute this trade. The free margin is, here's how much room my account can move downwards before I get a margin call and I, my, my account is completely uh, blown up and the the margin level associated with that just in, in terms of percentage All right guys, I just placed an instant order For here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually walk you through what pending orders look like in the next video Thanks very much guys. We'll see you next time